All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, this is Mr. Maestas, and um, this is the uh, part two of the chi squared goodness of fit video. Um, it, look, you know, cut me off. I only have 15 minutes on this thing, so it cut me off like mid uh. So, <laughs> um, if you haven't seen the first one, watch the first one. I go through all of the steps and all of the things you need for a chi squared goodness, goodness of fit test, and how do you calculate the chi squared statistic. Um, this video is just so that you could see how to put this in a calculator and put this in. Um, I'm going to actually use GeoGebra to show you how to find the, the p-value. So um, let's first uh, find the p-value because we really do want to know what that p-value is if we can find it. So let's first use GeoGebra to just find the p-value of chi-squared with 3 degrees of freedom and a chi-squared value of 23.45. So I'm going to go to GeoGebra. That's not GeoGebra. That is... Uh, Pandora. Um, this is GeoGebra. And in GeoGebra, I'm going to pick, um, you know, start GeoGebra. And I'm going to have, uh, as soon as it starts up here, my computer's a little slow, so give it a few seconds. Um, but when I do start GeoGebra, I'm going to look for the probability one. And then when I do probability, um, notice here it starts me with a normal model. So I'm going to go and click chi squared model. And I'm always do, really always do a chi squared greater with this um, bracket here greater than because uh, that's really what we're doing for any chi-square test okay we're going to change the degrees of freedom to three and we're going to put in our chi-squared value which was i believe 20 23.45 all right and it doesn't show up the area because notice that i'll oh, hit enter um, notice there that the it's so small that's not really giving me much of a p-value at all, right? Uh, but if I had a, a different p-value like, you know, 11.6, you can see here that I have uh, a shaded area. Enter, and it gives me my p-value. And as, uh, as my p shaded area changes, my p-value would also change. So in this case, my p-value is so small that it's not even showing up in this case. Um, so I've got a very, very small p-value. So what I would write down here is I would write down that this p-value, um, in fact, is less than. Uh, let me get let me get an eraser out here. Um, you know, in fact, my p-value is is actually less than um, you know zero point zero zero one. Uh, let's let's actually find out what that p-value is though. Um, so I'm going to use my see if my calculator do. I'm going to use my TI Inspire and I'm going to go into list and spreadsheets. Okay, and I need to make two lists. I need to make one for my observed observed and I need to make one for my expected. And I'm going to enter in the values that I had for my observed and my expected um, that I found out here. So I'm going to put in my observed value 506 518, 208, 910, and then my expected values, which were 471, 600, 235, and 836. All right, so I entered in my expected values and my observed values. And over here in the next column, I'm going to go and run my chi square test. So I'm going to hit menu, statistics, stat test. And I have a chi-squared goodness of fit. We'll talk about a two-way test in the next video, chi-squared two-way test. Um, so I'm going to hit go ahead, goodness of fit. My observed list is, well, observed. My expected list is, well, expected. And my degrees of freedom was three. So I've got to tell it I have three degrees of freedom. I'm going to go ahead and write my result in D, and I'm going to have it shade my p-value so that I can see my chi-squared graph. Hit OK. And here's my chi-square graph. Notice I can't really see a shaded area. My p-value is very small. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check this. Uh, first thing, I'm, I'm going to ungroup these just so that I could. Uh, okay, so page layout, um, ungroup, so that I can see everything in my screen here. All right, so my chi-squared is 23.4599, which is what I got when I calculated it myself. But it calculates it for you. My p-value, oh look, now the calculator actually gave me my p-value, 0. 0.000032. So I really wanted to write it in. I've got four zeros and a three, two. 
I could go ahead and write it in now, um, now that I can be more specific on what that actually was. Sometimes we really do want to use technology to do this because um, we want to, like if we were doing a report, we would definitely want to, uh, we want to tell them what the p-value is. Uh, what was that again? 0.32. So now you can see that my p-value is so small, so in my conclusion, I would actually say since my, okay, right, we get rid of that, we would say since my p-value of 0 0.00032 is so small, we reject the null hypothesis. Now, one thing I want to mention before I end this video, because that's really all I'm going to tell you for this video, um, you can also, one more thing, you can also do this in, um, in GeoGebra if you hit statistics. And then here we want a chi-squared test, goodness of fit test. And you're essentially doing the exact same things here that you did before. In this case, we're going to need four and we're going to just, you know, we do it just like we did in the, uh, in the uh, TI Inspire, except it's going to calculate all your stuff right here. So uh, the one thing I want to tell you before I end this video is that when you are doing a chi-squared goodness of fit test, just remember that the chi-squared statistic is not like the Z or the T statistics. Um, you'll notice in the, um, in, in the uh, table here, uh, for a chi-squared va chi value of 9 at 0 0.05 alpha level, we would fail to reject the null hypothesis because it's less than that 9.4. So with four with four degrees of freedom. So we have to be careful in that a chi squared uh, statistic is not like a T or a Z where you could say, oh, it's 2.3 or or it's or it's four. So it must be significant. That's not true for chi squared. So you have to look at the chi squared table or look at the p value in your calculator or in your uh, technology for that okay so i wanted to make that clear because some people say oh it's 20 that's got to be really really high um in fact they might see uh, uh 9.2 and say oh that's that's super high well that's because they're thinking of it as t or z and, and it's not like t or z okay so um those are my two videos on chi square goodness of fit hopefully that helps and you know how to use your technology to do that to find the p value okay we'll talk to you soon Bye bye